Because the problem with behavior change is that the long that the consequences of your poor behavior, those costs that you're trying to avoid, are too far in the future to really impact your decision making today. So what's the long term costs of not eating well? Well, it could be diabetes, it could be hypertension, it could be heart disease, but that might not develop for 10, 20, 30 years down the road. But today, I want to watch another rerun of Modern Family uh, rather than go to the gym, or I would rather order the cheeseburger than eat the salad because I'm going to act in my own short-term interests. Because people are much more likely to act in their short-term interests, even if it's at odds with their long-term interests. And so what we're doing is we're bringing those long-term costs forward so that you feel them today in real time. Because now, if you put $50 on the line each week to lose a pound each week on our website, that cheeseburger no longer costs you $5. It's going to cost you $55 because if you don't make your weight, we charge your card. So what we're literally doing is raising the price of your poor behavior, raising the price of your vice so that you make the right decision in real time today because you, the pain of failure is too great to not change your behavior. So you choose a price point at which failure no longer becomes a reasonable option for you because you need to avoid those losses.